Tough game coming up. They're good. Dayton's got a very good team, phenomenal uh, home atmosphere. This will uh, very much reciprocate a SEC away game in our conference here in uh, late November. So that's why we're doing it. Uh, you know, watching them play Dayton, the University of Dayton, I mean, they're incredibly physical. I mean, I watched their game against Virginia last night, and after I think like 14 minutes, Virginia had like about 10 points gone in the first half. I mean, it's a physical knockdown, drag out. They're very athletic, big wings, really big, strong, physical two, three starters. Uh, point guards outstanding. Young man from Memphis, Crutcher, who obviously played well against us here last year in their comeback and uh, is an outstanding player. And Cunningham's their best player inside. Guy's really good. First, te uh, first team all preseason pick out of the A-10. Guy is a player. So we've got our hands full, and uh, it'll be fun. It'll be 13,500 great basketball fans there, and it'll be a great atmosphere. I wish all of you in the media could go. We do too. Yeah. Questions? Go ahead, Brad. Is, is it a typical Anthony Grant defense out of them pressing, harassing? That kind you of know, thing? they press on free throw situations quite a bit in terms of run and jump, man to man. They will show a zone diamond press. They're down late in the game as they did against Oklahoma, but they really get into you physically. Uh, and uh, their defense is very tough, and, and, and they've really recruited to. Uh, being a good defensive team in terms of the size of their wings. I mean, they're big and physical uh, everywhere you look. Go ahead, Coach. Is right. Any update on Abdul? Uh, Abdul's going to uh, try to practice some today. Uh, it'll be limited in nature, but we'll see how it goes. And I should have, if you get with Matt, I will try to give him an update after practice. And, and the better update is actually tomorrow after he's gone on it for an hour or so and see how the ankle responds. Yesterday he was out there one on zero with the trainer and did some things. And, you know, he, you know he's tough, so he'll give it a go and we'll see where we are today after. So, you know, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, is he playing or not playing yet? Okay, questions? Well, go ahead, Tyler. You mentioned Dayton being big and physical. How do you feel like your team matches up with a big physical team? Do, do you think that your team can compete in those, you know? Yeah, I think we did last year in our league, and we've got to be more physical. I thought we got out physical in the ASU game in the first half. In the second half, we woke up and started to play much more physical. We got a bang. Probably the most troubling stat of all our stats uh, for me is we're not getting to the foul line enough. We got to get to the foul line more than 12 and a half times per game, and, that, and that's you know taking the basket, getting it inside, getting hit, and we don't we not getting the foul line as much as we need to get to. So that's something that we'll be talking about today, uh, you know, and, and being concerted effort on that. Go ahead. With uh, Reggie playing in the, or starting the last two games, what have you got? Do you think you've gotten out of him since he's kind of assumed that starter role right now? Uh, you know, I think he's improving every day, and. Uh, you know, he, you know he, whether or not he starts is inconsequential. The, the importance of his minutes and his growth as a player. I thought, uh, you know, he played very well for us in our game against Alcorn State. And uh, you know, he, you know, like I said, always. I mean, what he brings to the table. Number one is his ability to rebound. He, you know, he rebounds. He's our best offensive rebounder as a freshman. Uh, cl followed closely by probably number two, uh, Robert Woodard. Now, we need Q to get more offensive rebounds. He's got to be more concerted to get in there and rebound for us. And he showed it last year at times. He was a great offensive rebounder. So that's something that we've got to get Q to do. And that's by tip playing hopefully a few less minutes. You know, the injury costs us. And I've got to do a better job managing that, uh, you know, in terms of his minutes so he can play harder for less time. And I think he gets more production that way. Go back to Brett. To, to follow up on those two freshmen particularly, why do you think they look so comfortable? I mean, Reggie said he's still trying to find his way, but it doesn't look like that when he's on the floor. Why do you think they look so comfortable? They're good. I mean, they're, they're, they're coming in as high-level players out of high school where they, they both were in USA basketball. They both played at the highest level in AAU basketball. You know, they've you know, both been, you know, in, in the Nike 
uh, you know, elite camps and Adidas elite camps. So they, you know, they've been to the highest level of, of the level you can go to as a high school player. You know, where they're both uh, – the biggest area improvement they both got to get to is at the defensive end because it's just a different deal. Like when we played ASU, Reggie was like, you know, they're pushing me in the back. Yeah, well, this is what – welcome. This is how it is now. And, and you know, they're going to shove you in the back and they're not going to catch them all. That's why you got to hit them first, you know. So hopefully we, we got growth from there. Go back to Todd. Nick is shooting the ball – probably better than any of your guards right now, but he's taking less shots than a lot of those guys. Are you looking for him to sort of be more aggressive? I, what I think is is that he's taking the best shots. And yeah. so, you know, I, I commend his, uh, you know, basketball IQ in terms of good shot, bad shot, and taking good shots. I mean, today we had him shoot in the morning. He shot great. So do our guys. I thought, like, Lamar today shot 80% from three catching and shooting. You know, and, and, and he knows. Like, I thought he did a better job in our last game, Lamar Peters, at letting the shot come to him. And actually, once he missed, where he got a little hyped up because he hit a couple, and all of a sudden he, then he takes one that, you know, he probably shouldn't take. But when he's open, I mean, the way he's shooting right now, I mean, this is on, you know, 150 attempts. He, you know, he made, you know, 80% of them this morning. Uh, you know, Tyson Carter, same thing. You know, it's just – and I watched – Every one of Tyson's shots and Lamar's shot on the season with them in the last two days. Just so they see the difference when you're open. Because they're both really good shooters. I think they've worked so hard. They're so anxious to get it going because they've got all these. I mean, I can't tell me countless hours they put in the gym in the offseason. Nobody put more time in the gym than Tyson and Lamar this summer in our program. Um, and it was, you know, so you're little, but I think now we're settling down. God, just let it come. You, you know, you're getting in. We want you to take, when they get open shots, it's like, count it. Anything else for coach? I'm good. Don't hurry me up, Matt. No it's okay. <laughs> I just, just kind of on Robert and Reggie again, just how different is it for those two guys to come in? They're impact players as freshmen, but you've had some freshmen before. They kind of had to be the guys, <coughs> basically, but it seems like, you know, Robert and, uh, and with Reggie, that they kind of don't have the pressure so much because there is a Q and an Eric and thing. How big of a deal is that, that there are guys, so many experienced guys around them? Uh, I think it helps them because, you know, now when he, they come in, they're not keen on them, you know, the, the, which is good because a year from now, they're keen on them. You know, I mean, uh, and they can kind of – you know, continue to grow. And they're great kids. I mean, I can't tell you how fun it is to coach those two. Uh, you know, I mean, Reggie's in here this morning lifting at, uh, you know, 8.15 in the morning, shooting from 9 to 9, you know, 40. I mean, you know, these guys are uh, just phenomenal to work with and the coach, and you're seeing his growth, like in his jump shot, is really improving. You know, he was shooting without a lot of lift through the summer because that's how he kind of always did it. And now you can see at this level when the guys are going so much faster, you got to have, you know, more lift on your shot and get a little lower on the catch. And he's learning to do that. And, God, he's just – I was so excited this morning. I was really pumped up and as I watch him. I mean, it's so fun to watch players grow before your very eyes. I mean, that's what's fun about this job is what – and they want it so bad and, they're you know, just like, you know, it's so fun to coach guys that are coachable. And that's what makes it fun. How much do you know about the NET metric that the NCAA is using? To not, not, not enough. <laughs> okay. uh, can't explain it to you. I mean, just win. Win, baby, win. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's, you know, a little bit confusing after changing it all this time and you know everybody seems to agree it's going to be a better way to do it but for me to to sit here and tell you that I, I uh, you know uh, I'm an expert at it would be false anything else yeah I think that's been one of our strengths except for the last game where we had 17 I think it's been a real strength for us I mean one of those games we had like you know five or seven turnovers in the game Part of it could be explained is we're probably shooting a little too quick at times, so we don't get a chance to get a turnover, uh, which you know some people believe in. And that's a good thing. I mean, it's, yeah, we don't want turnovers, but not at the expense of shooting quickly. I mean, again, we're a much better shooting team, in my opinion, than our three-point percentage indicates. And uh, that's just through shot selection and learning to be more patient and 
again, uh, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress.